I've always loved pattern and colour and texture. The subject matter that I work from is from everything around me. Everyday objects that are in my life. I studied printed textiles at Middlesex University and used the time there, I think, to, to define a style of um, painting and drawing. The subject matter that I work from comes from everything around me, everyday objects that are in my life. I've always loved um, pattern and colour and texture, whether it's on china or chickens or anything. I lose myself in drawing and painting those things. I use lots of different things to draw. Paintbrushes, charcoal, fat pencils, thin pencils, anything that I can get my hands on to make different marks. It's the different mark making that I really like. I don't think I ever see myself as a fine artist. I just play. At some point, along the way, you know when something works, you know when something has been finished. When I finished university, I worked freelance as a fabric designer. I created patterns for GP&J Baker and Monkhoff Fabrics, lots of different large companies that could do 20 colour designs. And I loved doing that. That was my first love. I then developed designs for murals, lino prints, woodcuts, every sort of surface. I'll paint anything. I will decorate anything. If I'm trying to create a new textile design or I have a commission, I try and get lots of lots of different reference material in front of me and start to paint and draw from that. I have a series of sketchbooks that I refer to and I take ideas and jot them down and they run alongside my life. Eventually, hopefully they'll become prints or they'll become drawings and sometimes they get lost and left in a corner and then sometimes they're picked up again. I've always loved every sort of printing. The lino printing particularly appealed to me. It's a very traditional, laborious technique, and I love the different stages. If I've drawn something, I like tracing it onto the lino, and then cutting the lino out. And those are very different feelings, they're very different moods that you're working under. And it takes hours. and then you're able to print. I was tutored by Richard Borden. He was incredibly patient and kind. He showed me how to create my one-off prints, which are never small, by printing them with my feet and I've never stopped. You're never sure what you're going to get until it appears. You have something entirely unique that is related to your drawing, but very different. And I like that. It 
takes it away from yourself and shows it back to you. I've done a series now of collaged screen prints. Some of them are from old wallpapers that I've made myself. Some of them are built up images uh, for wrapping paper or other designs that I've then torn and worked into. I was lucky enough recently to work at the Kerwin Press when one of my liner prints was developed into a lithograph and that was fascinating. One of the things that the shop has led to is the contact with Chris Cordingly from Art Angels, who's now using the third of my prints for his range of cards, which is lovely. And this year he's doing my snowdrop print as a card. Very nice working with them and it also means that my images are all over the country. <laughs> 